how to get attention in Teams. Now, let's say that you've been typing a message, uh, perhaps even replying to a colleague. Hello, and you send the message, and nothing. You get no reply at all. And when finally you do catch up with them at the coffee machine, they say, "I'm so sorry. I must have missed your message." So now you're asking yourself, how come people always miss my team's posts? So they go back and they check their team's posts, and lo and behold, they find your message. Finally, in the end, when it's too late for them to do anything about the urgent situation that you were wanting them to help you on. I I I'm sorry. You know, this does leave you wondering. How do you grab somebody's attention in Teams? So, how to get attention in Teams? Well, let's go through that above scenario again, but this time we're going to do things a little bit differently. So, what I like to do is I'm on my Teams here, and I'm just going to start a new conversation just at the bottom. So, let's click on a new conversation just here. Uh, what I want to do is I want to invite somebody to, well, Joshua to help out on a company bike ride. So let's write this here. So I want to say, "Hi, Josh. I'm looking to arrange a company bike ride. Uh, you up for helping?" There we go. Uh, what I'm going to do is do uh, expand. I can click on this format button just here. I can do Control Shift and X. X for expand, which I'm going to do this time. I'm just going to put a little subject so we can, you know, bike ride for company. Uh, um, that's it. Assistance required. Assistance required. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a nice little meme for Josh as well. So I'm going to click at the end, press enter, and go to my little gifts just here. Give it a click, and I'll have a look and see what type of gift that Josh would like here. So I'm going to choose a bike. And have a look, and here's one I think that Josh would like. Yeah, this one looks good. So I'm going to click on that, and then that adds that uh, animated GIF, uh, and it might hopefully influence Joshua Charles Fitzgerald Fortescue to wanting to help out with this arranging of this company bike ride. But I'm going to do something a little bit different. So instead of typing "Hi Josh," if I'm going to double click on that, and I'm going to type "Hi at Josh." And notice it comes up with his name just here. So it's going to. I'm going to click on his name here, and then that will add his name to the list. Let me just do a space. So here we go. Hi, Joshua Fortescue. I'm looking to arrange a company bike ride. You up for helping? So what I'm going to do is send this. Now I could click on this send button just here if I wanted to, or I'm going to use my preferred method, method which is Control and Enter to send the message. So let's look at Joshua's point of view and see what he sees. Hi. Yes. Well, you can see here that I've got a message. This looks rather exciting. A bike ride for the company. I can't believe it.、Uh, notice it's just disappeared at the bottom there. That I have a little message, a little reminder, a notification letting me know that I got the message. You could also see I've got a little notification that comes up here.、Uh, I can also see I've got some activities going up here. I got a bling on my mach、uh, machine on my computer, and、uh, if I had my mobile phone switched on,、uh, marvelous technology this. Then I would get a little notification. Absolutely fantastic. There is little、uh, chance of me missing this team's post. So that's great. So you can see Joshua's seen the post. He's seen notifications, but、uh, let's. He now wants to reply to that message. So let's see how he gets on with that, shall we? All right. Well, I, I suppose I better reply to this message, shouldn't I? So I'm going to click in this reply button just here, and I'm going to type my reply. What should I type in here? So I'm going to type in. Oops! Did I click on reply? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> It's not the fastest thing. I will give it that. Okay, here we go. Uh, uh, thank, sir, for、uh, thinking of me, and I would be delighted. Oops, let me just back up a bit. Would、uh, be delighted to assist、uh, you in this matter. Okay, I present her, and he will get the message. No problem there.
So you can see that Joshua, he sent the message, he's replied to the message, and I can see the message down here as clear as crystal. But notice I do not get a notification. I don't get a little bling sound on my mobile phone. Chances are, if I'm busy doing something else, that I'm going to miss this team's message. So let's give Joshua another chance, shall we? Uh, really strange, Simon seems to have missed the message. Now he says something about putting the at symbol before the name. Well, let's see if I can edit this message and make sure that he doesn't miss it in future. So I'm going to hover over my name here. I'm going to go to this ellipsis at the top just here. I'm going to edit my message. Uh, I don't know why he doesn't see it here, but maybe he just needs a bit of a kick up at the backside you know <laughs> anyway so i'm going to put my his name in here so thanks now what did he say at simon there we go there he is give him a click uh brilliant and then i'm going to click on the tick here to send the message great and so now i'm back on my teams i've got a nice little notification my phone has just done boop 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 uh, maybe a sound that you're going to either love or love to hate in the future, but there we have it. So if you look at the top here, I can see that activity has ha happened and I can see that Joshua has sent a message. It's less likely for me uh, to miss the message that Joshua uh, has sent me. And I would like to take this time to thank you, Joshua. Ah, uh, thank you. But did you know, Joshua, that you can not only at mention individuals, you can at mention the channel? and at mention the entire team as well. So if you click on, let me just give this one a go. If I click here on my new conversation, just at the bottom, just to start a new conversation, if I wanted to let the whole team know about this fantastic bike ride, what I can do is I can type in at and new ice cream flavor. And there it is, it recognizes the name of the team just here. So I'm just gonna click on the name of the new ice cream flavor team and I can finish the text. We are having a company bike ride all are welcome looking forward to seeing everyone there we go and in that way everybody in the team will get a notification now I've been training teams quite a lot in the last few weeks and very recently a student asked how do you mute those mentions because they can be annoying when they're bleeping on your phone all the time. So this really deserves another tutorial and if you would like one then comment below. So there you go. That's how you grab somebody's attention in Microsoft Teams by using the at mention. Remember you can at mention the individual, you can at mention the channel and you can at mention the entire team. So if you've got anything out of this tutorial, make sure you give us a thumbs up. It really means so much to me. Thank you so much. If you haven't already done so, make sure you click on the subscribe button and click on that notification so you don't miss the future tutorials that I'll be bringing out. If you're on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, then give us a shout out. Say hi. It'd be great to hear from you. So I just want to say thanks for watching. Take care, guys.